Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back again to our channel. It's EO's Marketplace News. So, this is Alex signing in to give you the latest news and updates about EO's and other currencies. Okay. Now, for today's breaking news, the European Blockchain Partnership finds Europe getting serious about distributed ledger technology. So stay tuned for more details. And then I will be um, reminding you or inviting you again for those first timers out there or who haven't um, or you didn't know about the um, game conference or the crypto games conference, I will be inviting you. That will be on October 17 to 18 in Minsk, Belarus. And I will be also or I will also be showing you um, a site, a very good site where you can have your research. Okay, this is at archive.aweber.com. It's a newsletter, daily newsletter. So this site, you will have a lot of websites also that is um, very useful for um, who you um for very useful for those who view out there who are doing their research, right? Or who are planning to invest? Then this site is a very useful. Okay, now going back. Um, for today's news, this is brought to you by PCN or Preferred Currency News. It's also a good site. Um, excuse me. You can read or you can subscribe to this website so that you will be the first one to get notified on news and updates. Okay. Now, um, before I give you the details about the news, again and again and again, I would like to clear this thing that we are not financial advisors, okay? So we will not be giving you um, advices about how, what to invest, where to invest, or you need to invest in this specific token or coin, right? Um, you need to make your own research about the tokens or coin that we already mentioned in our videos if you have seen our videos or that we will be mentioning in our future videos okay we really we highly recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide for yourself after all right okay so let's start um, the european blockchain partnership finds Europe getting serious about distributed ledger technology. Now, on April 10, 2018, 21 EU member states and Norway signed up to create the European Blockchain Partnership, including the UK, France, Germany, Sweden, the Netherlands, and Ireland. They committed themselves to cooperate in the establishment of a European Blockchain Services Infrastructure, or EBSI, all right, that will support the delivery of cross-border digital public services with the highest standards of security and privacy. Since April, a further five nations have joined the partnership with Italy becoming the latest to do so after it signed the partnership's declaration in September. As a member, it has committed itself to helping to identify by the end of 2018. An initial set of cross-border digital public sector services that could be deployed through the European blockchain service, um, services infrastructure. By, <clears throat> excuse me, by bringing distributed ledger technology or DLT to European infrastructure, the partnership hopes to make cross-border services such as those related to logistics and regulatory reporting safer and more efficient. However, progress towards this goal has so far been slow and piecemeal with the partnership's members having had only three meetings since April. Nonetheless, it retains ambitious aims with the European Commission telling Cointelegraph that it, what, that it wants the European Blockchain Services Infrastructure or EBSI to become an international gold standard for a large-scale DLTs. Okay, so here. European Blockchain Partnership 
initial members of partnership um, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Ireland, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, um, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, United Kingdom. Members that joined later, Cyprus, uh, Cyprus, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Romania. Okay, EU members that have not joined the partnership, Croatia and Hungary. Okay, still deciding. So far, the partnership's mission is vaguely defined. Now, while there was already agreement in April that it would work towards developing cross-border, blockchain-based public services, um, there is still no actual agreement on what particular services to hone in on and develop. The European Commission's Head of Digital Innovation and Blockchain, Pitris Zel um, Zelgalvis, explains that the partnership mission is defined in the joint declaration and it is on that mandate that we have to deliver before the end of the year in that uh, in the joint declaration the signatories committed to working together and with the european commission in order to develop an EBSI that can support the delivery of cross-border digital public services in Europe. So the description of what the services infrastructure could look like is what we are currently working on. In other words, the partnership membership is currently at the very early stage of negotiating just what kind of blockchain-based public services to develop. However, as Zil, um, Zil Gavis explained to Cointelegraph, it expects to have agreed on all the fundamental de details by the end of the year so that these can be used as the basis of actually building and rolling out distributed cross-border technologies. As stated in the joint declaration, by end of 2018, the partnership must provide a set of use cases of cross-border digital public services that can be deployed through the EBSI, a set of functional and techno um, technical specifications for the EBSI, and finally, a governance model describing how the EBSI will be managed. A global reference for blockchain. The partnership and its members will therefore be busy, um, be busy for the rest of 2018, although it has only three more meetings left to hammer out um, the all-important details, having already had three meetings so far. According to Finland's representative to the partnership, um, Kimo McKinnon, a senior advisor of the De Department of Public Sector Digitalization, the most recent meeting took place on September 17. This was the third meeting, he tells Cointelegraph. The main topic was to discuss about the most prominent cross-border blockchain use cases that had been proposed by member states and by the Commission. As for whether the partnership will successfully decide on all the necessary parameters before the start of 2019, McKinnon doesn't offer confirmation. We will have three monthly meetings by the end of this year, during which we will have to agree not only on use cases, but also technical functional requirements and governance model for European blockchain infrastructure. He says, his use of not only implying that the partnership has a more than sizable workload to get through before Christmas. We hope. All right. Now, still, uh, still, even though three meetings and no particular end product hardly counts as an impressive achievement, these me uh, meetings were positive for the partnership. Okay. That's a good sign. More importantly, um, they've revealed a strong commitment among its members towards developing blockchain technologies, as explained by Peter Zelgalvis. 
At these meetings, we found that the partners were extremely supportive of collective efforts 